Ever since I could remember, I have felt a unique connection to Peace Mound Park. The idyllic land is trademarked with lush landscapes of plunging palm trees joined by vibrant flowers and a small lake called Little Creek. When I was about 10 years old, I started to truly open my eyes to the significance of my childhood playground. Along the path that I would ride my bike, I began to notice graves marked by small, white, rectangular blocks in the sidewalk. I learned that Peace Mound Park was the burial site for the now extinct tribe, the Tequesta Indians. This knowledge gave me a new spiritual appreciation for the tranquil Peace Mound Park. The main focus of Peace Mound Park is a white hut that serves as a tribute to the Tequesta's culture and way of life. When the Spanish arrived in South Florida, tens of thousands of native people prospered. The Tequesta Indians lived in South Florida from about 2,000 years ago until the 18th century. They immigrated from North Florida and predate the Seminoles, who adopted many of their practices and beliefs. The Tequesta lived off the sea and land. Turtle, fish, snake, alligator, and deer were a main part of their diet. Although plants were important to their subsistence, agriculture was never practiced. Tequesta children were spoiled by their parents during their early years, but were not named until they were about six or seven because of the high child mortality rate. Once named, they contributed to family life and by 13 were considered adults. A chief, known as the Kakik, headed the Tequesta tribe. They believed the Kakik had descended from the sun god who had the healing power to transform Tequesta souls into natural beings throughout the land. The Kakik married his sister, but had other wives who bore him children. When the Kakik died, his family was often slain so they could be by his side in heaven. The Tequesta believed in many gods represented by animal spirits and a great god represented by the sun. They also believed that each person had three souls, one located in your shadow, one in your reflection, and one within your eye. As I grew older, Peace Mound Park became a sacred haven I could escape to. I would walk along the winding path and stare at my reflection in Little Creek's water. Water is something man cannot live without, and as I would stare at my mirrored image reflected in the rippling currents, I could feel a sense of the Tequesta's belief in three souls. I would see through my eyes my shadow on the sidewalk of unspoken emotions and my reflection in Little Creek's water of the person I was willing to accept. This illustrated how the three souls were reflected through different energies. Water was very important to the Tequesta tribe in which they used as a means of travel. The dugout canoe was the principal means for transportation. The Tequesta could travel from the Everglades of present-day Weston to the New River within several hours. By 1763, disease and slave raids had depleted the population to less than 300 people. The last of the Tequesta Indians immigrated to Cuba, where they shortly became extinct. The Tequesta, however, believed that there was a heavenly world of Everglades Swamp. A Tequesta male was often buried with his canoe paddle so that he could paddle through the celestial swamp. Every time I walk through Peace Mound Park, I can feel the spirits of the Tequesta Indians, who are laid to rest beneath my feet. I feel the shelter in the thick leaves of the palm trees. I feel the safeness under the stars. I feel my belonging in Tequesta.